Today I'm going to speak to you about Isali Sawab and what is the maqam of a father in Islam. Because today we have all gathered here today to for the Isali Sawab of Uncle Nabeen's father and also your father-in-law, is that correct? Yes. Father-in-law also. So firstly, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentions in a hadith, إِذَا مَاتَ الْإِنسَانُ إِنْ قَطَعَ عَمَلُهُ That when an individual passes away, when an insan he passes away, his actions come to an end. In qata'a amaluhu. His actions come to an end. So when someone passes away, obviously he can't pray five times anymore. He can't fast in the month of Ramadan. He can't give zakat. He can't do anything. He can't chill with his boys or anything like that. He is dead. He is finished. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, illa bi thalathin. All of his actions come to an end. He can't do anything else except for three things will benefit the mayyid when he passes away. This is what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says. And the first thing which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions is a sadaqatun jariya. What is a sadaqa jariya? It means a continuous charity, a continuous reward. For example, let's say an individual has passed away. And the children of that individual, they build a well in his name. Now every single time an individual drinks from that well, who's going to give the reward? The mayyid, the person in the grave. Why? Because it is a continuous charity for that person. The person who put it in place, the child, he will get the reward, but also the mayyid. Why? Because it's in his niya, it's in his intention. So every time an individual drinks from that well, he will, the mayyid will get the reward. Another example may be that the mayyid he donated towards the masjid. He may have even built one brick of the masjid. And he donated towards the masjid. What happens? Every single time an individual prays after he has passed away in that masjid which he donated towards. This is a sadaqa jariya of the mayyid, the person that has passed away. And also the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentions, ilman yuntafa'u bihi. The second thing which benefits a mayyid is knowledge which is beneficial, which he left behind. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he didn't say a large bank balance benefits the mayyid. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't say your boys will benefit you. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't say that you know, the company that used to keep you used to do haram, they're going to benefit you. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't say the large cars and the big houses that you used to have won't benefit you. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, Ilmun yuntafa'u bihi. Knowledge which is beneficial which the mayyid left behind. An example may be that he left behind a book of knowledge who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now he has passed away, but every single time an individual reads that book, reads that kitab, the mayyid, the person who has passed away, he gets the reward also for this. This is what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says. And the final thing, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentions, and listen very carefully, my brothers in Islam. He says, وَوَلَدٌ صَالِحٌ يَدْعُ لَهُ That the mayyid, he leaves behind a walad, a child, who is pious, who makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his forgiveness. This is the best thing by Allah. We can have money, we can have everything. But the best thing that a mayyid can leave behind is a child who prays for his forgiveness. Because for example, we are stood here today, who knows, you know, when we pass away, who's going to pray for us? So this is very, very important for this generation to know what is Isali Salah. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, a pious child who seeks Tawbah for you, this is the best thing. And my teachers, they used to mention to me in Jamia Al-Qaram where I graduated from, they say that best thing an individual can leave behind is a pious child. Why? He's going to read namaz every single day. He's going to read, رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيَّ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَوْمِ يَقُومَ الْحِسَابِ Oh Allah, forgive me. Forgive my shortcomings. وَلِوَالِدَيَّ Forgive my parents who have passed away. Both of my parents who have passed away. Forgive them. وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَوْمَ يَقُومَ الْحِسَابِ And all the believers are going to come until يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Forgive all of them. So an individual who prays, he will be making this dua. But if an individual doesn't pray a salah, an individual he was not accustomed to Islam, then what benefit did the mayyid have? He left behind children, but they don't pray for him. This is, you know, bad kismati, and this is, you know, bad thing to leave behind. So we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes all of us those people. Remember your forefathers. Remember your family. Whenever you can, you know, gather your family around and make dua for the mayyid. So, mashallah, brother Asim, the Deen Sahib, he's a very, very fortunate. He comes in this category. Waladun salihun yadulahu. His father has passed away yet. I'm not sure how many years he's been now, but look, every single year he remembers his father. He has a gathering like this. And we are going to seek istighfar 
<coughs> for his father. He asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God's his father and his father in the for those in Jannah. Now finally, the maqam of a father in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, وَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفْهِمْ Don't even say uff to your parents. Nowadays, we know what the society is like. Your parents tell you to do something. Begin to shout at them. Give jawab back to them. You know, swear at them even. And this is what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that one of the signs of the day of judgment, the day of judgment is going to come close when children begin to disrespect their parents. Allah says he can't even say uff. My question is today, what do we say to our parents? I'm sure it is much more than uff. You know, it goes much higher than that in the daraja, in the rank. Your, fa your father and your mother, no matter how great you be in society, no matter how big you think you are in society, no matter how many boys you think you have in society, no matter how much status you think you have, by Allah, you can never ever be better than your parents. You can never be great.